Okay guys, good morning. This is Jerome again of Lakbay Diwa TV. So, I'll give you another vlog and this episode will be dedicated for those who want to go off-road for the first time and pwede rin to sa mga beginner off-roaders. As well as dun sa mga season or yung mga expert na maybe you could share your um, expertise and your comments down below on the comment section. Okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so yung advice ko sa mga first time off-roaders of course is first to probably join a group yung grupo ng mga nagpo 4x4 din so you can start by searching your vehicle brand which is mine is Mitsubishi tapos yung vehicle make and model so yung sa akin is Pajero and as well as you can also look for locations alam ba kung saan kayo nakatira like me, I'm from Pangasinan so check nyo lang doon kung ano yung mga grupo especially madali nang search yan sa Facebook ngayon so search nyo lang sila and then join the group okay, this would help you um, locate o hanapin yung mga lugar na kailangan nyo puntahan pag magta-trail kayo okay, as well as syempre sila din yung mga nag bubuo or nag schedule ng mga trail rides na pwede kayong sumama sa kanila kapag naka-join kayo doon sa group nila okay I don't advise you to go alone especially kung first time nyo lang mag-offroad kasi the chances of you getting stuck getting bug and uh, having mechanical issues mas malaki yung chance kapag ganun Okay, so next on the list after joining a group would be planning your trip So once you decided kung saan na kayo pupunta nung mga naging grupo mo or if you have friends going on the trail of course, you may want to check the trail first so pwede yung tignan sa mapa kung gano siya kalayo from your your uh, home and you must check also kung ano yung type of terrain nung trail na yun kung gano siya kalayo as well okay, so you'll check kung anong meron doon kung meron ba ang mga kung saan ba yung mostly yung trail kung marami bang mud putek kung meron bang river crossing, kung meron bang rock crawling at kung meron mga matataas or steep descents and ascents so kailangan nyo malaman yung mga yun for you to be prepared okay? para malaman nyo on how to approach or attack the trail kapag ano dun ka na so number 2 yun, kailangan prepared kayo you have to know where you're going okay? so check the maps first before you go there And then, after planning your trip, checking the maps, yung next step would be checking the weather. Okay, so check nyo yung weather forecast on the day of your trail ride. So, kailangan nyo malaman kasi kung uulan during that day or kung maaraw naman, then there will be no problem. Para makapaghanda din kayo on what to bring and what to, what to wear as well kung ano yung gear na susuotin nyo. So, you'll be prepared kapag dating nyo sa trail day, di ba? Okay, so after planning your trip, checking everything, the weather, pati yung uh, mapa, so yung next, of course, you have to check your own vehicle. So you have to check the engine first. So dapat tip-top condition, tapos check nyo yung oil levels nyo, if it's in the right level, check nyo yung water levels nyo, kung nasa tamang level then, and then check your brakes, your batteries, so everything must be in place bago kayo mag-trail kasi. You don't want to have mechanical issues, electrical issues kapag 
nandoon na kayo mismo sa trail kasi doon papasok ang mga problema dahil mahirap mag-ayos sa trail especially walang spare parts doon. Okay, so be sure to check them all before going out there. And then the next step would be of course after checking all that in your vehicle, syempre check din natin if you have good tire pressure. Okay, so titingnan niyo rin kung okay lahat ng tires niyo from front to back as well as dapat meron kayong ganto, okay? A good running spare tire, okay? Madalas ang kakalimutan ng mga nag-offroad to eh, yung nag-invest sa spare tire. Pero tayo, check natin kung may hangin ba talaga siya and kung pwede ba talaga siyang gamitin kapag papalitan yung kung ano mang nasira na gulong dyan. Okay, make sure to have your tires check bago kayo umalis. And then, kapag nasa trail na tayo, of course, uh, mag air down tayo. Okay, bababa natin yung pressure kapag gando doon nasa trail. Okay? Usually, within the range of 20 PSI yung uh, pinakamatigas and then going low up to 15 ang usual na ginagawa ko kapag nagtitrail depending on the uh, the terrain na puntahan namin. And then of course after the trail ride okay, number one tip then, check nyo kung nasaan yung last gas station na merong compressor. So para makapag pahangin kayo pag tapos ng trail. If not, bring your own compressor kung meron kayo. Mas convenient. So air down ulit dun sa road road tire pressure nyo. Ibalik nyo lang siya para hindi masira agad yung mga gulong natin. Okay? Kasi medyo mahal ang gulong. So you have to keep them always in tip-top condition. Okay, so after checking your car, I think the next step would be for you to check your gears. Okay, so gears. I'm talking about gears. So kung ano susutin nyo? Of course, you should wear a dry fit shirt. So yung mga pwedeng mabasa. Okay, you can wear pants na pwedeng mabasa or shorts, yung mga board shorts. And then wear a footwear that's waterproof. Okay, usually I wear a waterproof boots or I wear slippers or yung mga sandals na pang trekking. Okay, you can also wear shoes na pang trekking. So, advice din sila. Okay, basta anything that's durable enough na makakaapak sa butik, sa tubig, sa bato nang hindi kayo masasaktan. Okay, yun yung uh, gears for yourself. And then another gear check would be of course your recovery gear. So kung beginner kayo, ang mga advice ko lang na unang kukunin niyo na recovery gear would be the cheapest one of course would be a shovel or yung pala. Okay? So pala lang. Basta may pala kayo that would uh, do a lot of the work kapag nagkaroon kayo ng recovery situation. And then probably if you can invest more on your recovery gear, so bili kayo nung uh, tire deflator, bili kayo ng snatch strap, shackles, okay? Yung mga yan, especially kapag bumalahaw kayo o bumara kayo, nakakaya kasi na humiram pa kayo sa mga kasama nyo para hilahin lang kayo, okay? So mas maganda na meron kayong sarili. Kahit wala kayong winch, okay? Pwede kayong recover kung meron kayo ng mga ganong klaseng mga recovery gear, okay? Of course, eventually, kapag tumagal, malalaman nyo din naman kung ano yung kailangan nyo eh ng mga recovery gear. Just start with the basics and then um, ipon lang ng mga recovery gear na kailangan nyo eh, as the time goes by. Okay, another gear check, of course, check your tools, okay? Yung mga tools na ginagamit natin regularly, yung mga wrench, mga vice grip, yung mga ganyan, yung mga pwedeng pantanggal ng gulong ng uh, spare tire. So, dalhin nyo yun, na jack as well. Magdala kayo ng bottle jack kung wala kayo ng high lift jack. Okay? So, just bring tools that you can use kasi hindi nyo alam kung kailan may mga mangyayaring sitwasyon. So, just be prepared. Lagi dapat tayong prepared sa mga gantong um, adventures. Okay? Okay. Another gear check, of course. Siyempre, depending on what type of um, adventure you're going, so pwedeng overlanding yan or pwedeng day trip lang. So kailangan meron din tayong mga dalang camping gear. So ano ba yung usual na dinadala? So depending nga kung overnight yan or kung day trip lang. So usually I bring my, of course, um, cooler. So usually may maliit akong cooler tsaka malaking cooler. 
of course, to cool things. Okay, mga lalagyan ng, kung magdadala kayo ng soft drinks, tubig, beer, tsaka yung mga karne na lulutuin. So, dito natin sila nilalagay. Okay, don't forget to bring also cooking, cooking, cooking gears. Okay, so kailangan natin, ako, usually nagdadala ako ng, ng uh, portable grill, and then nagdadala din ako ng portable na, na stove. Okay, uh, mura lang naman yan, kayang-kaya ng budget. And then, I uh, usually bring table, Okay, madala din ako ng mga pop-up tent yung, yung pwedeng maging uh, comfort room okay? Lalo na kung kasama nyo yung family nyo And yung, yung wife nyo or yung girlfriend nyo Tapos may mga dala din ako mga camping chairs As well as of course yung sa akin Kasi yung sasakyan ko may awning tent So meron kaming shade kapag nandun kami sa trail okay? Lahat ng yan eventually You can get them Dahan-dahan lang okay? For as long as the budget permits Dahan-dahan bilhin nyo yung mga gear Don't buy them at once Lalo na kung first time nyo pa lang Just go with the basics Just go with the things that you need first Para hindi kayo mahirapan sa budget So another gear check Of course kung ov overnight or overlanding yung magiging trip nyo Okay So kailangan nyo magdala syempre ng mga ilaw So you have to be self-sufficient Dala kayo ng enough na food for that trip Okay, so calculate nyo or magtanong kayo dun sa mga experts about it and then bring lights kasi pupunta kayo sa lugar na walang kuryente. So magdala kayo ng ilaw nyo. Okay, so marami namang nabibili ng mga camping gears to, to, to provide light. Okay, so pwede yung mga USB type or yung mga battery type na nilalagyan ng mga lamps. You can buy them, okay? And then of course, don't forget to bring your own food. Okay, snacks na madaling kainin and then yung mga lulutuin nyo din i-prepare nyo na sila sa bahay pa lang bago kayo sumakay sa trail okay? para lulutuin na lang sila pagdating sa trail kasi kailangan yung dalhin yung mga madaling uh, kainin at lutuin dahil kapag nasa trail kayo usually pag tumagal kayo sa trail hindi naman kayo makakapagluto during the ride eh. so meron dapat kayong kakainin like sandwich or burgers yung mga madaling kainin during the ride Okay, tapos magluluto na lang kayo kapag nakapag-set na kayo ng camp. Okay, so another gear check would be bringing communications. Okay, so important ito. Yan, UHF, yung radio, two-way radio o yung walkie-talkie na tinatawag natin. Okay, so bakit kailangan to Para makakommunicate ka sa lahat ng mga sasakyan o yung convoy nyo. Okay, so from front to back, Narigirinig nila yung pinag-uusapan nyo And kung magkaroon man ng sitwasyon na Bumalahaw ka o bumara ka Okay, makakapag-usap kayo Nung taong nag sa sa'yo sa labas At ikaw sa loob Using the radio Okay, and kung sino man yung front runner nyo Mapipredict niya or masasabi niya Kung merong mga obstacle na kailangang daanan So makakapag-prepare ka din Okay, while driving Of course And of course, dahil malayo yung pupuntahan nyo Usually remote places, walang mga walang signal doon. So ito lang yung magiging reliable na communication nyo. So bring this. This is a cheap gear na mabibili nyo sa Lazada, okay? Just invest on it. And then next step would be knowing your vehicle. Okay? So dapat alam nyo yung vehicle nyo. It's fuel capacity. Okay, dapat alam niyo 'yon para alam niyo kung gaano karaming gas yung ipapakarga niyo during the trip. So, calculate the distance of the trip and then alamin niyo kung nasaan yung pinakalas na gas station and then fuel lap doon sa pinakalas na gas station para alam niyo at hindi mabitin yung gasolina niyo. If need be, kailangan niyo magdala ng spare na jerry can, do so. Okay, mas maganda yung sigurado tayo na meron tayong gasolina kaysa doon sa biglang mabibitin ka tapos titigil na lang yung sasakyan, di ba? It's safer and and then knowing your vehicle of course means knowing how to drive your vehicle. So dapat alam natin kung paano siya i-engage sa 4x4. Okay, so ngayon yung sasakyan ko Pajero, so na-engage ko yung uh, gear niya into the 4 high. Okay, so nasa 4 high siya ngayon. If I, I wanna go to 4 low, so kailangan ko muna siyang ilagay sa neutral and then press and go to for low. So ayan, nasa for low na siya. So ayun. Um depende yan sa sa type of vehicle. Pero in general, ganun siya kung yung mga 
older four wheel drive so stick shift pa siya okay so yung mga newer vehicle so dial na yung ano nila parang dial na yung uh, pag shift nila ng four wheel drives okay so check nyo rin kung merong mga other features for four wheel drive yung, yung car nyo kung merong kayong uh, 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 center differential lock kung merong rear and front differential lock so depende kung anong kotse pa din yun Okay, so we're nearing the end of the episode. So, ang moto ng mga off-roaders or yung mga nagpo 4 by 4 okay, as far as I know, is to tread lightly. So, ito yung, pag pumunta kayo sa trail, dapat, kung paano nyo siya dinatnan, ganun nyo siyang iiwan. So, meaning, pag pumunta kayo doon na malinis siya, okay, walang kalat, dapat aalis kayo doon nang wala rin siyang dumi o kalat or even better okay kung may dumi kunin nyo kahit hindi yun sa inyo iuwi nyo kung kasya naman sa sasakyan nyo okay so yung I think yung last tip ko would be for you to bring your own trash bag okay ako usually I bring my rubbish bag pero hindi lang siya nakalagay ngayon usually nilalagay yun sa sa spare tire pero you have to have your own um, trash bag okay o yun kahit ano kahit hindi siya bag basta lalagyan ng basura of course, para ma-maintain natin yung cleanliness ng trail. And para syempre, yung ibang mga magti-trail, hindi sila makakaabot ng maduming uh, napag-iwanan natin. Okay? Kasi we want to keep these trails clean because we want them to be open. Kasi kapag may mga, may mga pumunta na conserv conservationist dyan at nalaman nila na nagkakalat tayo, dinudumihan lang natin yung environment or yung trail, pwedeng masara yung mga trail na yan. Wala na tayong mapupuntahan. So beware of that, okay? And then, last but not the least, just go outside. Go out there. Okay? Relax, enjoy lang. Huwag kayong mag-overthink. Huwag niyong isipin masyado kung ano yung kailangan nyo at hindi nyo kailangan. Lalo na yung kakaisip natin kung ano yung ilalagay natin sa sasakyan natin. Minsan, yun yung pumipigil natin na pumunta sa trail at mag-off-road. Okay? Just go there and use what you currently have. Kung ano yung meron kayo, make the most out of it. Okay? Kahit stock pa lang yung sasakyan nyo, you don't need a highly modified vehicle like this para pumunta sa trail. Okay? Kailangan nyo lang, konting confidence, tiwala sa sasakyan, then, you'll, you'll be surprised kung gaano kasaya pumunta doon going out on the trails. Okay? So, I think that's it for this episode. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel and this episode and um, para dun sa mga beginners hope you like it and then feel free sa mga experts dyan yung mga batikan na na mga off-roaders to comment kung ano yung mga na-miss out ko na mga beginner tips okay maybe you could share your own opinions about it para matulungan natin yung mga fellow natin na mga gusto mag-off-road as well okay so that's it until the next episode Okay, so don't forget to go out there, go outside, enjoy life. Okay, goodbye.